What's up, everybody? It's another one with me, Canary Valens. Yeah. S L Y C E. The boy Slizzy. How you doing today, bro? Yeah, man. Uh, solid, man. Solid. I'm I'm good. I just plugged in this. You know, I'll be watching uh watching different tech stuff on YouTube. So I went and got me an 8K cable today. So I plugged it in, look, waiting for the waiting for the water to jump off the screen or something crazy. See the HD in this joint. <laughs> what oh, you up to? Yeah. Nothing, bro. Another day, another dollar. You know, we had to link up and do another one, man. Yes, sir. It's the process, baby. They already know. Yeah, man. So I've been having, you know, some things on my mind. Uh, thing about kind of like the whole last year, how we went through COVID and how it impacted different people different ways. Like thinking about how rich people, they got richer, poor people. It seems like they got poor. You know, a lot of people are out here struggling. What are some of your thoughts on kind of like finances and COVID right now or COVID last year into now? Yeah, it's interesting, man. You know, um, it was one of those things where some people turned um, turned lemons into lemonades and some people wasn't that fortunate and didn't have the same opportunities too because, you know, it depends on a lot of different factors, right? But it was interesting because it was just like, you know, in one way of things, it was a lot of people lost their jobs, couldn't take care of their families, um, you know, was just down on their luck um, from COVID uh, and still trying to recover from it. And then you got the people who who was just benefited from it, whether it be stocks, whether it be um, knowing, you know, what, what to put their money into, having a, having a heads up or or just having something saved away for a rainy day. And then when the rainy day came, it was straight. You know what I'm saying? Right. And even with um, giving out the stimuluses last year, they really gave us a lot less than what a lot of other countries got. You know, I think all in all, what, by the end of the year, they had given out a little bit. If you were single, I think 3,000. If you were married or two people in the house, it was like 6,000. And <clears throat> that's pretty much all they gave a fuck about last year. Yeah, man, you know, it's crazy because, like, and, you know, the, how long they dragged it out, too. It was like, oh, you're going to get the stimulus check. You got to wait. You got to wait. You got to wait. You're going to get the second one. You got to wait even longer. You might get it on time. You might not. You know what I'm saying? And other countries really, you know, it's, it's a good point. You said that other countries, they've been giving monthly checks since it started. Right. You know what I'm saying? They, they've been getting taken care of since it started. They've been getting monthly checks. So, it's like, yeah, I, you know, of course, appreciative to whatever uh, is provided for everybody who qualified. But, you know, there's a lot of people left out of that equation just being not thought of one. Yeah, exactly, man. And that's that's what I was thinking. Like, uh, and even, even how we had all these injustices last year, you know, had all these people fighting on different sides. You know, the left against the right, Democrat against Republican, Kanye against everyone. <laughs> oh, man. You know, it's just... Uh, oh, no, the story. Right. It's just, you know, so much to take on. And, you know, we're... we're millennials have, like, been through so damn much, bro. Just from... Yeah. The financial crisis back in what was that, 2007 or 2008, to yeah, going yeah. through a pandemic and another financial situation. Yeah, it's 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 different, right? Because it's like you know, it's each era, each generation got the they struggle stories are different. You know what I'm saying? It's a different kind of you know what I'm saying. Each one is like its own kind. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's own. His own has his own identity, I should say. And for this, this one, this this new era group here, it's like when your daughter's like, yo, I'm stressed out. All these meetings from school on Zooms and this and that. It's like, dang, like I'm thinking, like, yo, wait a minute. You know, when I was when I was her age, I wasn't doing that. I was on computers, but I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't in, in scheduling Zoom meetings and <laughs> 
<laughs> and having this having this tight schedule, I'm like, wait a minute, yo. Like, you know, it's, it's stressful. It could, it could be stressful on everyone on different levels. Right, man. And it's so crazy. I'm actually glad you said that because that's what we're seeing. It's like uh, each generation seems to be taking on stresses from the last generation, but also having their new stresses from a new yes. generation. Yes. Yeah, it's like as as the generation, yeah, you're right. As it's like the generation, the, the issues from the previous is following is it keep going. It's not like, you know what I'm saying? It's like more 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 stress is coming than what's being resolved, more things being resolved. All right, man. It's just crazy. <laughs> Some people but, at the top don't go through that at all. They get they kind of something someone told me a long time ago is like when you have money, it's like having like bread and shit, right? And the more bread you have, the less shit you deal with. But it's like mm -hmm. everyone out here just has shit between two slices of shit. Yeah, you know, you know and it's resources too. It's, you know, it's trying to utilize your resources to get the best, the best uh, advantage you can. Like even with the whole COVID thing, we talking about the financial and people profiting, people not. I feel like even when, when you're looking at jobs and employment and stuff like that, you know, it's like, I feel like certain, sometimes companies could use uh, a downtime as leverage. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's perfect segue into what I want to get into next. So let's talk about COVID and hip hop. Now, it seems last year, hip hop had a big explosion. You know, a lot of artists, they talked about the struggles that were going on during the time. That helped a lot. They got a lot of radio play. You know, the baby said last last year he ain't have no shows, but still made millions. So, you know, some of these major corporations like that, they are profiting hard. But like while people are struggling using their money, they're paying the little bit that they have to give to people that already have so much. But I mean, what are your thoughts on like hip hop and how COVID affected some artists from the ones that were affected greatly to the ones that it hurt a lot. Um, it seemed like it's almost kind of like in a way, in a strange way, it's almost kind of like the way you we were talking about how the, the rich, uh, the rich profited and, and stay rich versus people who like the poor people who ain't have it like that. It was like more affected. It's kind of like that parallel in a way, because, the mainstream artists being the rich, you know what I'm saying, versus the independent artists. Now there's some, there's rich independent artists. I ain't gonna say that, but the mass majority of people trying to get on, you know what I'm saying. The mass majority of people who's on the come up, it's like they felt that harder. It pushed it pushed us to be pushed the independent artists to be more creative and to come up with different things. If you know you're serious about it, but it's still that all right. Now nah, I gotta I gotta even invest more than what I was planning to or or take what I didn't have and invest into something even more because the opportunities are cut short. You can't go perform. You can't you can't be active as much as you might like to. You're taking the risk, you know what I'm saying? The health risk, but it's it's almost like that parallel between the rich and poor, same with independent and, and major label. For the people who figure it out, there are some independent artists who figure it out and are doing really well and making good money. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Like, once again, the artists on the lower end, they struggle. The ones on the top, they boom. Your Cardi B's, your babies, little babies. And that's how that went. But even talking more about hip hop, how you feel about battle rap this week? Oh, man. It was crazy. Alternate Madness number three with the Smith Act. Smack was uh he had he had a card man he had a heck of a card but I ain't gonna go through the whole card I I tell you my high and low points my nice, high man. points was yeah man uh, Sirius Jones Sirius Jones did his thing came back to battle rap uh you know he had the controversy going on with ARP from the other league from RBE but he came and he he did his numbers um and I was surprised at how well he did he was a lot more aggressive and. Just a, you know, he amped it up, but he was raw. Yeah, three judges, and uh, man, they got it wrong, man. Freeway was one of the judges. Um, 
Freeway and three other guys. Um, I forget their name, no disrespect, but yeah, he got robbed. There was a lot of backlash after that battle um, all over the internet. Everybody was saying Jones got robbed, Series Jones got robbed. So he did his thing. Um, but Young Nitty, Young Charles, Young Nitty, too, it wasn't the best performance by Young Nitty, but Serious Jones should have won that battle. He should have advanced. So I think they had it wrong on that one. Yeah, I feel you on that. And Sirius Jones, he's been a serious rapper for a while now. And coming back, that's good to see after all the struggling he's done, seeing him come back into the ring and give it another go. So what was like yeah, I mean, what was like something that disappointed you with this one? Who did you think was going to win that was going to be good, but they kind of flopped? Man, I should have known better, man. I picked, I picked New Jersey twerk. I picked him that the cruise through his battle. He battled uh, KCJ. She, she's a good battle rapper, you know. She's a female or whatnot. She's dope. But, you know, when when Twerk is is focused and he knows his material and, he, you know, he he kills stuff. He, body, he bodies. He does his thing, man. But he, he, he choked all three rounds. He ain't get through not one round with a clear rap. And I was mad disappointed, man. I had definitely I had messed up my bracket. Um, I definitely had him winning that. And uh, it just was almost like, you know, sometimes I be feeling like artists and people in general, they take they take things for granted. I mean, it's like, who don't need $100,000? You know what I'm saying? For real. <laughs> who don't for need $100,000? You just, he just, like, he literally didn't know one rap. Like, he would, he would start, maybe get like 10, 15 seconds in and choke and quit. And then try to pick it up. He can't. He's like, nah, I ain't got it. And he just, he just stopped rapping. I'm like, yo. Oh my gosh, bro. I hate to see you know. someone like, I hate to see like an artist just fumble like that. But like, I feel like that will make him stronger in the, in the future. You know, like if he gets another shot, another chance to really go again like that, he'll actually probably go harder because he'll look back on this and be like, damn, I could have beat her. Well, yeah, the thing is also is everybody was waiting to see if he was going to choke because he he has a history now of doing this. Like, he's done this over in, like, damn, I don't know how many battles he choked in because he didn't prepare. You see what I'm saying? So he got a bad habit of that. And everybody was like, yo, we got him winning this if he take it serious because when he's not serious, he always choke. So it was like, damn, like, what? Damn, like, hopefully this wake him up. But it was not a good look, man. Yeah, I hate that, bro. But shout out to New yeah. Jersey Twerk. Yeah, shout out to Twerk, man. I know you're going to bounce back. You're going to get it right. Um, shit, I don't even know, man. 100K, I know you're feeling, I know you're feeling it right now. <laughs> I know you're <laughs> oh, yeah. feeling it right now. I don't know. You I don't gonna feel, feel that the day after. You're going to feel that uh, the day after. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He definitely had to feel that. Plus, you know. Like I said, I feel like letting people down. He got he first is like you gotta he gotta feel it. Let no, he let himself down first. Then you know. Yeah, man, that's another one with us, Canary Valens. Slice, peace. Yes, sir.